Good evening, I'm Heather Armstrong. And I'm Dustin Lukey. Toma's Chamber and Visitors Center hosting a forum for Toma's Board of Education race last night. Three candidates are running for two of the board's seven seats, which will be on Toma's April 5th ballot. News 19's Joe Minnie shares some of what was said. Toma Area School District will have two Board of Education seats up for election in April. Three candidates vying for those seats shared their thoughts on how best to improve Toma's education. Board incumbent Pam Buckta says balancing fiscal responsibilities and providing quality education can be challenging. I sat on the um, board when we had that massive decline in, in financial intake and we had to cut some things and had to be creative. We don't want to go through that again. The pandemic created educational setbacks for many students. Candidate James Newland feels clear priorities and transparency will help kids get back on track. I want to continue to keep some focus on how we're going to ensure that our kids are safe in school district and also provide confidence that our our parents and our community has some input on all of those different things. In August and September of 2021, candidate Katie Rice successfully fought for the option to wear masks in school. That experience motivated her to get involved. During those two months, I saw the need for people on the board that could use critical thinking as they make decisions for our children, their education, and their well-being. Three candidates, three viewpoints with one goal in mind, to make the educational system in Toma a better environment for kids and set them up for success in the future. In Toma, I'm Joe Minney, News 19. Now, while there were three candidates at that forum last night, Toma residents will see four names on the spring election ballot next month. That's because one of the candidates, Wayne Kling, a very involved member of Toma's community, passed away suddenly this past Saturday.